this is the most important thing on my list today. It is 5am. Oh god, I had a full day at uni yesterday. Be quiet so I don't wake my household up. But um, yeah, a full day at uni yesterday. Um, from 7 till, I didn't get home till like half 7, 8. And now I'm off to camp. Which is very exciting, but um, I am a little tired. My first lesson's at 8, so I better get a move on. Uh, I packed my car yesterday. I'll give you a wee peek of that. And I've got some things still on the floor. But yeah, I actually almost forgot my toothbrush, so we go back up the stairs. This just proves how unorganised I, I am. I've got the toothbrush, um, but I also almost forgot my phone charger. That would have been an absolute nightmare. So yeah, shove that in the bag and then I think I'm good to go. I'm very concerned I've left something. I've got a checklist on my phone, but you know, something's up as well. sad to me that the last vlogs we did it probably would have been light at this time but if you've not watched our last vlog it is literally the right at the end of november and i'm going to camp this weekend but yeah i'm on my way up to the yard jade and Belle are going to be really confused as to why i'm there at this time in the middle of winter but yeah when I hitch up i've got everything in my car like crazy amounts of stuff I'm so scared that I'm unprepared for the cold and how Baltic it's going to be. But um, yeah, I feel like I'm prepared. I feel like I've got enough stuff. And I've just got in this car and it's not that cold. So I think I've forgotten to mention that I am sleeping in here tonight with Emma. So hopefully it's not that bad because we'll have like body warmth and things like that. <laughs> I don't know, maybe I've just been hopeful. We do live on like the northeast of Scotland. It is almost December and I'm sleeping in my car tonight. That sounds insane. So I'm at the yard. It is like 10 to, um, maybe a wee bit after that. There's some lights on, which I'm very surprised by because it's like not even 6 a.m. yet and it's absolutely Baltic. Um, let me go see how my girlies are. There's a light, there's a light. Girlies! Oh, I have a feeling Jade might be lying down. <laughs> are you ready to start jumping, honey? Are you ready to get up? Um, no, I am not <laughs> Oh my bless. <laughs> oh. Hi, morning. And hi, morning to you. You're up bright and early. Okay, so they're up. Look at them looking at me like, what is going on? Um, so I've got a couple of things that I couldn't put in last night, such as feed buckets, water buckets. I think that's actually it. Um, so I'm going to go put them in the car. If you don't mind budging, that'd be cool. That would be cool. Get it my way. Oh, which one's the cleanest out of these two? Probably this one that can come with. I'm sorry, honey. You've had your breakfast. Actually, she's had her breakfast and gone for another nap. I actually appreciate that in you. That's cute. That's something I would do. Oh, my God. Oh, oh God. I don't know if I was cut out for this kind of life. You know what I mean? I'm knackered. Hey, it's just too early to be hauling water buckets around and things. I should be in bed or like in a fancy hotel getting pampered or something. The horse life chose me. That was rude. Oh, there we go. Um, <laughs> uh, I always do this. I always come to the yard like super early for competitions and stuff. Like I'm either late or I'm super, super, super early because I don't want to be late. And really, I don't have anything to do. Except hitch up. So I'm going to go do that and hope that there's no issues. And if there are, if there are, then I'll have time to sort them because I'm prepared for once. Um, yeah, I'm planning on leaving in about half an hour. But I might just leave earlier and um, try and get like our stable sorted and stuff like that. So I thought I might as well give you a wee debrief of what I'll be doing this weekend. Since I've kind of just jumped right into the vlog. I am rusty, obviously. I haven't been vlogging for like four months, but it actually changed to five months. Like, so it said that our last vlog was four months like yesterday, but it changed to five months today. So five months is a long time. That's like almost half a year. So I do feel a bit rusty and a bit strange, like with the camera out. And like this morning I woke up and was like, oh my God, I need to vlog. Like I need to switch the camera on first thing in the morning. So I 
I'm going to camp this weekend, which is really exciting. I've never been to camp before. Uh, Jade has stayed over at Warwick Hall, so she's had one like sleepover competition -y sort of thing, and she was an absolute angel. So touch wood, fingers crossed, she is going to be so chilled at how today. She's been there like millions of times because it's one of our local competition venues and it's still like an hour away though with the trailer um but yeah they're doing a camp this weekend my regular instructor um is an event rider and he's doing this camp with another event rider and um you get four lessons so like two show jumping lessons and two stimulated cross-country lessons up here we don't really have like cross-country on surfaces really like um indoor event or anything like that there's actually nothing up here I don't really know 100% what to expect they have done this in previous years and I've seen like photos and things like that but I've never actually like went to have a peek or anything like that and I'm pretty sure tonight there's going to be some kind of like pub quizzy socializing thing going on so I've got some booze which is really the most important thing that I could have brought and some snacks obviously that that goes without saying so yeah, it should be a fun-filled weekend. I'm really excited. I'm really nervous, actually. We've been doing really well, really, 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 um, in our training and stuff and our lessons and things. But like, obviously, I'm on my own in the lessons and you kind of just like, it's just a lesson. But to me, like, this is something different. I'm quite nervous, even though it really is just lessons. Um, And the last time I was at How I Fell Off. So um, I am nervous, but I'm hoping after like the first wee bit, I've jump in like I chill out. I'm just like overthink everything, so I'm worried because Jade's not had any turnout today. It's early. She's gonna be like, well, what the heck is going on? Where are we going? She's gonna be stabled like all weekend in a temporary stable. Ah, there's just so many things going around in my head. That, like you start overthinking about thinking, oh, she's gonna think this is horrible because of X Y Z, and she's not gonna jump. She's gonna chuck me off or something. I need to get these demons out of my head. But yeah, best thing to do is just get on with it. Yeah, hey, I better go and hitch up. You know what? I used to have a camera oh, on my car. And now I don't need it. How class is that? Wow. You know what? I should put that on my CV. Oh god, what am I doing? Stunning. Oh, it is a bit creepy in here. I've got all my hay nets just chilling in here. Um I don't really think I've got a lot else to do. I tried to kind of sweep this out last night, but it is it's winter you know it's absolutely minging and i think that's all i really have to do it's very creepy up here on your own you know this would have been a perfect time for me to have my hat with the light on it i always wear that on days where i really don't need to be wearing it why is the light on my car but look you guys can see how much oh gosh how much stuff is in here it's absolutely wild it's probably unnecessary i think i have like four duvets which is just mad, but you know what? You'd rather be safe than sorry. You'd rather be cozy than cold. Oh, maybe time to go get the pony. And we're on our way. You good girl. I thought if we'll leave like 10 minutes early, it means I can give it a brush because her hair do be looking a bit mental. Here we go. She is so good at loading on this trailer. She actually would walk on without me even being here. I swear to God. Um, I put that in and we're good to go. Oh, that makes me feel so guilty. Can you guys hear Belle? Oh, I hate that. I was trying to tell her where we're going and what we're doing, but she's raging. Oh God. Oh my goodness, I about fell over. Right. Right. Say goodbye. See you all there. Hopefully it'll be daylight by the time we get there. Finger crossed. So that is us in the car and trailer. Not both in the car. I don't know if Jade would fit in here. Maybe Blondie would, but I don't think Jade would. Um, so we're off. I'm really nervous. Like I just feel like half asleep until recently. And I've started to wake up and realise that I'm going to do simulated cross-country lessons at a place where I've just fallen off not that long ago. So yeah, I am nervous. I don't think Emma's going to be there to video slash record my first lesson. Maybe someone else will be, but I don't know. I'm going to try and get the first lesson recorded. If not, I'll get the other ones recorded, but it's a bit early to ask Emma to come. Hey, can you be there for a... I don't know. I would feel a little bit bad. Okay, I've arrived. It's very dark and creepy. And I'm going to the toilet. But I don't see anyone around. I feel like I can't talk very loudly. Really cold as well. Oh god, I'm scared. 
Okay, I have to find some light. I'm really awkward because like, I don't know if there's anyone around. Like it's really dark out. I'm just out with this corridor. It's pure pitch black. Oh, it's so creepy. It feels like really strange to be here when it's this quiet because like you come here for competitions and stuff. But like I've never, obviously never been here with it being like this. Oh my god, am I gonna follow the that's really creepy. There's indoor stables and stuff, so I know there's quite a few people like mulling about at the indoor stables, but there's nobody at mine yet. The temporary one, so I don't really want to wet Jade out. Um because I'm putting her in a stable because there's no one else there. I'm gonna put my uh, camera on and show you what the show jumping's like because I can kinda see it, but it's also very dark. Oh my god, how creepy does that look? Okay, they are absolutely humongous. Cool. That one's not too bad. Um, yeah, I don't even know if you can see. That's with the flash on. It's very creepy. Oh, look, something for me. Crossbow. I don't know if I'd be better waiting till um, daylight to show you guys, but this is my stable with the open door. Very cool. You know what's great is there's like on the names on the doors mean that there's going to be a horse in it. So there's going to be a horse either side. Well, all around basically in front and stuff which is good so she won't be alone hopefully and they've put some bedding down and things for her which is dead sweet might as well actually get the hay nets put up and things very quick vlog update i've had a wee nosy well, i went and did my emergency person form say hello to jade and uh had a wee nosy at the cross country simulation thing i feel so sick i'm not even joking yes like like oh my god there's like eight water trays. Okay, I'm exaggerating. I think there's like three or four water trays underneath like skinny brushes and and stuff like that. <laughs> I'm so scared. Oh my god. And this lesson isn't with my regular instructor, it's with a different guy. So um yeah. I'm not gonna lie to you is I actually feel like I might be sick, especially since it's this time of the morning and I've not eaten or anything like that. Um but it starts in like eight minutes, so I better get tacked up absolutely cacking my pants i'm not even joking <laughs> here we go guys we are tacked up and we are one minute late which isn't good for my nerves i don't like being like oh my god i just slept oh she's so concerned she's like what the hell's going on scared <laughs> it's so i wish i had someone to film that so much she was amazing, like she was actually so good. She's feeling on fire at the moment. I'm buzzing, I'm so glad that I didn't like pop out and not do it or something stupid because I was that nervous. I really was. Oh my God, I worked hard. We, oh my God, I'm just so buzzing with her. I'm gonna go and take a wee video of my friend Maya. You miss me? She's like, where am I? She's like, it was dark last time I was out here. Where's that? And um, show you the kind of jumps we were doing, come on. But she absolutely flew over everything. Um, and they were so scary. Like, I'm not joking. There was no cross pole warm ups or even like just normal pole. Like, it was like a proper, like, working hunter filler with grass on it that we it made us warm up over. I was like, like our first jump. I absolutely pooped myself. Um, but oh my God, she was amazing. And he had like so much good things to say about her, just raving about her, saying that um, our training was like really good and he's delighted and stuff like that. So, we happy. Are we happy, girls? Outside ring, you land. Oh, yeah, so it's south, space and time. Well done. Good boy. Now you've got time. Oh, I don't know. Well, sound face. Now hold it on your lap. We've got a very chilled out, very sleepy girl. I'm so proud of her because she's not been turned out or anything and she doesn't really know where the heck she is in these temporary stables and she's just very chilled, aren't you? Hey when she is relaxed it makes me feel relaxed which is so nice i got myself a wee hot chocolate because it's getting a little chilly i was really sweating after my lesson and um and now the coldness has come to me but it's nice to be able to watch everyone else like it's quite good that i was first got that out of the way and now can watch a few people and then later on i have my show jumping lesson the show jump arena looks nice because um there's no scary fillers but i don't want to jinx anything or that but um it's nice and bright and things, but that is where I fell off last time, so 
we'll, we'll not get ahead of ourselves. But um, yeah, really, I'm really buzzing. I'm still so buzzing from the last lesson. I kind of feel like that's me done now, but I've got three more. Oh, I have a friend now. I am no longer lonely. <laughs> I actually latched onto Maya and stuff and I've been hanging around with them all morning, um, which has been nice. Cool. Um, but it's, it's nice to have Emma here as well now. I am so happy yeah. to be here. <laughs> it's so cold. Oh my God. Pure oh, freezing. There's a person. Emma gets embarrassed when there's people around, so but you know what? We don't care, do we? Love. Hello, pretty face. How are we? So did I. I hope she did, but she's she's ignoring. Hello. Who the hell is this woman? Get off me! I don't like your kisses. I didn't give consent to this. <laughs> but I can move the ball and then it's a bit slower response, you know. Now relax, no faster. Keep it easy. Good, take your time. Relax. Nice, easy canter. Keep going, look in front of you, look at the neck. Good, relax. Good. Nice and relaxed, nice and easy, all the way. Doesn't matter, cluster. On to the next one, cluster. Good. Keep it the same. Keep it the same. Keep it the same, the same, the same, the same, the same. Good. Doesn't matter. Keep going. Keep it the same. Good pattern. So I've just finished my show jumping lesson. Um, I was very nervous. I don't know if I told you guys. Yeah. Um, but I fell off in there. My oh, last time I was in there. Yeah, like a week or two weeks ago. Um, and it actually really hurt my back. Um, I proper like thumped on, crashed into a jump actually. And yeah, so I went back in there like, oh no. She went back in there with a negative attitude. The first thing she said to me was, 
I fell off in this lesson a couple of weeks ago. Not this lesson, this arena. Yeah. And I was like, this I know. is not Funnily enough, because I actually anywhere. felt quite confident in the first it's such like, a good lesson this morning. Yeah, it was really good. So it went a like actually she she was she was really good. She was very, very keen, like she was very oh, forward. She was so forward. I know, she was sprighty and um which is actually really good, like because she's just getting stronger and stuff, which is nice. And um yeah, I was just a bit defensive to begin with. Actually, it's not, it, was it wasn't bad. that bad it was actually. Like, it was a really good lesson. Yeah. And the thing you, what you took from it was we need to work on doubles. Yeah, I really need to work on doubles. I just cannot get the right straight in. But that um who you saw teaching me there is my regular instructor, so I did say um, we're gonna have to work That's on them. Um, <laughs> we're gonna have to work on these um in our lessons. So yeah, I'm can imagine that we're gonna be doing them for like the foreseeable future. Um which is good. Um so yeah, I, I feel really good. I think that's actually probably the biggest course I've jumped, Jade. I would say about I think it maybe was not like 90. Yeah. I, see, looking down on them, I was like, boo. But um, but I was like, you know what, come on. Because see when he was saying like, okay, who's next? I was like, right, me. You know what I, I mean? Know, like I was going surprised. and doing it. Because I had to, I, I just have to, otherwise I'm going to leave it to the end and then, and then you'll I'll just overthink it. So I um, ended really, really well. Um, I think my instructor actually said to me that he thinks that's the best he's seen me riding her jumping because I wasn't rushing her into the fences, even though she had some down and things, which is just whatever, she I'm not bothered. Tired, but to be fair, that was towards the very end Yeah, of the she was tired and, she and she's had two jumping tired. lessons today, so that's fair enough. Mm -hmm. um, and she has a loose shoe, so... Which we've only just discovered today because you're not irresponsible. I am not irresponsible. My father definitely wouldn't have been able to come out and, and put a new one on in time. But yeah, that actually reminds me to text him because he'll be coming out on Monday probably. Get it, honey. Honey. Come on, put the ball down and have a drink. Honey. So right now we're just getting Jade some water. I might give her a feed actually. <laughs> and um, then we're going to go off to the shops and get some alcohol, even though I got some yesterday, but I don't think we have enough for both of us. Um, and treats and things like that. Maybe some dry shampoo for this. Oh my god, that's really scary. <laughs> um, so, yeah, where are we to go to the shops? Yeah, Emma. Chicken burger? Mm -hmm. Chicken burger? Cheesy chips. Cheesy chips. Copper burger. Copper burger. Strawberry and lime. Strawberry and lime. What am I eating? You guessed it. Chips and cheese, but with curry sauce mm. this time. It's bloody lovely. And to wash it all down. <laughs> <laughs> and I think this might be the last lesson of the day. Okay, so we have secured a static home for the night. We've been given this static home so we don't have to sleep in my car. The guy who owns this place has a static home. But oh my god, I just fell. Oh my god. So but how scared. creepy is this? Like, it's so much scared. darker than it seems. Oh. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, there's a light. That's helpful. A wee bit. Not too bad. Oh god, does, I don't have, think these lights are working. Does it have a nice drop in the back? Not that I can see. Look, it's freaking massive in here. Don't, don't look at the boots. Dirty. Oh, bit. sorry. That's a nice chair and everything. Oh, it's huge. Like a party in here. I know, there's a fire extinguisher. Good. There's a kettle. Oh no, we've just seen a precarious mark. <laughs> my car probably and by probably i mean it's actually probably not <laughs> i cannot believe that pillow <laughs> um, <laughs> there's a pub quiz but we're what <laughs> yeah the entertainment for the night what is that armada then <laughs> <laughs> Oh, it is morning time. Oh my goodness, it's like almost seven and time for JD's breakfast. Oh my god, that light is very bright. Okay, how am I going to do this? 
So I know you can't really see me, it's that dark, but the electricity went off in the caravan last night, so um, I tried to plug my phone in and didn't charge, obviously. Um, so I was just sitting in my car there because I was on 4% and I was really splashed. I was so scared overnight that my phone was going to die and my alarm wasn't going to go off because um, then I was just sleeping. So um, I asked Maya and um, her sister to come and wake me up, make sure I was awake um, just in case my phone died. But it did, it, the alarm did go off. So I went and sat in the car to charge it for a wee minute. Maya sneaks up at the window just as, as soon as I was away to vlog absolutely pooed my pants i'm not even joking because it's like pitch black her face was there horrendous so i've just been going to her lorry and i'm gonna put it on charge in an actual plug and hope that i can keep some charge oh some light um to do some vlogging today so i am changed and ready for my lesson but not tacked up and it starts in 15 minutes so i need to get a move on i actually really need the toilet as well ah! I'm not set out to be up at this time in the morning. I'm absolutely not hard and cold and want my bed. You know the static caravan? It charged us a 10, 10 quid each, right? There was no electricity in it. It was Baltic. Absolutely Baltic. I was up all night freezing. <laughs> Oh. 
the dogs are enjoying their little stay away show, little stay away lessons. <laughs> Unhinged. We show the horses how to jump. Honey here, honey here, up, up, up. Or not. <laughs> Professional show jumper. How did it go? Good. Right. I, I don't feel well today. I think it's like the lack of everything, lack of nutrition, lack of sleep. I feel like I'm being interviewed for the news. <laughs> I zoomed right in on your face. Yeah, no, it was really. really it good. wasn't actually I, show jumping either. No, cross country simulation. I've never done like angles and stuff like that as well. She was so good. She was so she good. done mad angles, yeah. crazy lines, yeah. bounces, yeah. huge. Yeah massive wide water tree thing. water tree open ditch I, i'm gonna obviously put in the footage of me going over that the first time i was like yeah. <laughs> there's no way i'm falling off in this, in this water ditch i was actually like that eh because and he's like next time like should i go with her no i wasn't going with her that day no that she time. was going on her own and yeah. then i would come over once she was yeah, done yeah i will come with on the back of the horse i'm not going in there but yeah the next few times i was like okay she's done it now she's done she was amazing. She was she's so good. She, you, she looked so smart, like you looked yeah. like professional. You know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I'm really proud. I'm so glad I came. So good. beneficially to get like yeah. proper like pushing yourself. There's no way I would attempt any, like actually like no, anything. No, 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 no. Like if I was if I walked in there and the jumps were up and it was just an arena higher, yeah. you would never have done it. I would never have done them in a million. No. And I'm like twills. Like I'm scared. Well, you're just gonna have to go for it. I'm like, right, thanks. Okay, then, I guess. <laughs> I actually felt physically nauseous, but it's fine. We've done it. Yeah. And I'm so buzzing. She's so clever. Also, how clever is my wee girl? She is on her own. She has been abandoned. There's no horses around. And I thought she would be going mental. But she's fine. Mummy, get me out of here. I would like to go to the field, please. Oh, 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 yawning. Yawning girl. Well, you've got one more lesson, then you can be done. Good body up. Tulips to orange. Legs, legs, legs. Good level. One, two, three, four, five, six. Come on. Sunflowers to the black. Come on, kick, kick. To the black. Black to the double. Good. Positive to the first. Legs, 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 legs. Good. Set. Good. Red. To green. Good. Level. Legs, legs, legs. Good. Red to black. To the leg. Kick, kick, kick. Go. One, two, three, four. Big hand here, well done. Same. That's better. Keep it the same. Good. Keep it the same. Same. That's it. Keep it the same. Keep it the same. Energy in the canter, keep it level. Super. Keep it the same. Legs, legs, legs. Good. Stay. Be balanced. Same. Good. Up. One, two. Good. Answer. Good. 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 Good.
good morning everybody. So I'm not even entirely sure where I left off at camp because my phone died like straight after my lesson. I think um, we hardly got hardly had any charge on it to be honest and then we we're taking videos all day. So um, yeah, it died. It was on 1%. I was like, no! And um, I charged it up in the car, but oh my God, I was absolutely knackered last night, like beyond knackered. I actually felt like I'd been at like tea in the park or like, to know, been in a boxing match or something. I was just gone to the world. I had a warm shower and went to bed. But I don't think you guys actually saw that Jade had to have her shoe pulled off in my first lesson on Sunday. So my third lesson, it was a wee bit loose, like we said earlier. And um, I took her out and she was a bit, but being a bit weird on it. And then I could see that it moved. So Wills made me go get a hammer and he took it off in the middle of the lesson. <laughs> and she was absolutely fine on it. Obviously it was all on the surface and things, so she was fine. But um, means the farrier's here first thing today. So no lions, unfortunately, but I'm gonna go get it in. Oh, I just realized her head color's not even up here. My, my brain just is not computing this morning. Too tired. <laughs> Another example of my head not working <laughs> this morning. I just realized my dog's in the boot still. And I haven't let him out. Come on, I'm sorry. Where is he? Ah, Herbie, where are you? Oh no, I forgot about you, did I? Ah, why are you so small? So to finish up, I am absolutely buzzing <laughs> that I went. I'm knackered today, but oh God, it was like invaluable. Like, it was worth every penny of going to that. It felt like boot camp to me. I get lessons regularly. Um, and recently I've been getting them like really regularly because I think for me, I need to do something like consistent consistently. Well, I need to jump consistently to not be nervous and like just mess up the next session. You know what I mean? Like, so if I've not jumped for a month, my next, my first session back is going to be just me trying to get back, like riding positively and not rushing and not stressing and not getting flappy and things like that. And if I keep going like that, like monthly, then I'm just never going to really progress. So yeah, I've been getting lessons regularly and I've been seeing like good progress. I've been really, really happy with her and things and myself. Like by the end of the session, I feel like I'm riding better and stuff like that. And she's going better. Um, But like for me, this was kind of like boot camp. I felt like it was very intense. But like for a lot of people, they might think that's not a good thing. But like it was really good intense. Like there was no me saying like, oh, no, I'm too scared to do that. I don't want to do that because I was in a group of like four people. So I kind of had to do it. And like, I was being taught by four and five star event writers, so I was like, can't really say that I'm too scared to do it, do you know what I mean? Um, So I kind of just had to get on with it, and it was amazing. Like, she was so, so, so good. Oh, I'm just buzzing with her. I feel like the progress that we've made from Friday to Sunday, like, is just crazy. She'll be absolutely pooped. She's going to have a good wee while off Um, after that. Not a long time but yeah definitely for the week and um then we'll be back to it i need to keep going <laughs> basically is what i'm trying to say can't let this have such an amazing effect on us and then just kind of like go back to square one again so yeah but also she is um obviously a young horse still and i like to take positives out of the whole experience so not just that she jumped really really well she went really really well and i feel like i rode better but she was so calm, she stabled perfectly, she travelled perfectly, um, she was on her own in those temporary stables at some points and she couldn't have cared less. She was just an absolute angel. Obviously I get lessons from Daniel a lot, so he sees us progressing and sees us on our bad days and our good days and whatever, but um, it was nice to hear from Wills, who's never met Jade before, like how our training's like really effective and he wouldn't change anything and that he really really likes her and stuff like that so that's a four star and a five star event rider like giving some really good feedback and things which just makes me feel great so because I can be really really hard on myself sometimes <laughs> I try not to come across as negative but it is hard in your head when um when you just feel like you're letting your horse down or letting yourself down and stuff like that but we're getting there and I'm just so proud like by the end of that show jumping lesson, the jumps were big for me anyway. And that's the biggest I think I've ever jumped her. Definitely the biggest course I've ever jumped her. And um, she was getting tired by the end. But I'm just so, so happy with her. Um, God, I'm buzzing. I'm knackered. But this is me buzzing when I'm tired. <laughs>
Yeah, I almost forgot to say as well, um, one of the main things that I'm very cautious of and that you'll maybe notice in the videos as well is that um, because of my nerves and stuff, I've not been like giving with my hands enough over the jump. So that is something that I really, really, really want to work on. I always felt like in the past I was really good at that. Like if in old videos of me and Jade and stuff, I'm always like giving her head and neck over the jump and not restricting her too much. But obviously with confidence and things like you end up kind of hanging on and hoping for the best. But I'm very cautious of the fact that I'm doing that like quite often. Um, but yeah, it's something I really, really need to work on. But um, she's still very, very keen. So hopefully it's not putting her off too much, even if it doesn't look as good. Um, but yeah, that's something we're going to be working on a lot over the next few weeks and stuff. It's something I'm going to be thinking about when I'm riding. But anyway, I could yabber on for ages about how amazing this weekend was. It was absolutely like has wiped me out and it was so intense and and hard work but it was amazing um but I have a lecture to attend in like five minutes luckily it's on teams but um <laughs> I'm gonna be having my camera off for that one they'll have a fright um but yeah thank you so much for watching um I hope that you guys are proud of me um and Jade obviously <laughs> but Jade's always like been a great pony it's me that really needs to kind of get my get over myself get my nerves under control will said that to me he was like only thing i would ever change is that you just need to chill out a bit i was like you're right i do i need to breathe i don't think i breathed like throughout my whole lessons i'm surprised i didn't faint or something but um but yeah i better go for my for my but thank you guys for watching i hope you enjoyed and we'll see you in the next one bye that stuff will probably still be in my car by the next one